What's good YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's True here from Choose to Explore, where we teach you guys how to see the world and save a dollar. So today we got an extended weekend trip where we'll be in Orlando with the family. So we got here for around $87 per person flying with Frontier Airlines and it's four of us. It's myself, my wife, my mother-in-law, and my brother-in-law. Um, and we'll be staying at the really premium Hilton Orlando, which is their biggest Orlando property here by Hilton. Um, we got here last night, but we were really tired. We got here late last night. And this morning, we're gonna head into Disney. Because of my status with Hilton, I got this beautiful room right here. And guess what? For $167 for five nights. And this is because we are here to do a timeshare presentation with Hilton. And I'm just using it for a cheap rate. But stay tuned, y'all. We're doing a ton here. And I'll let you guys know what you should do in Orlando if you visit as well. All right, so this is our first full day in Orlando. And the first thing we obviously have to do is go to Disney. So we're on our way right now to Epcot. We have... Me here. <laughs> we have who else here? Hi, my mom and my brother, so getting ready for the day. No trip to Orlando is a trip without Disney. We woke up early so we could beat the heat and for shorter lines on rides. We decided on Epcot because they have fun rides, great food, plus we were really excited to check out the new Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Disney is an expensive place, so check out our full video on it for helpful tips to make your trip more efficient and affordable. It was the 50th anniversary, so we stayed until the end for the fireworks display. And after a long day in Epcot, I mean, we spent over 12 hours in Epcot, we're finally heading home back to our hotel. Good morning, good morning. We're up very early because we're headed to Kelly Rock Springs, which is about 40 minutes away from our hotel. And the reason we have to get up so early is because a lot of people come there, especially on the weekends. So we were trying to get there before they reach capacity and we wouldn't be able to get in. So that's what we're trying to do right now. Hopefully we get there. It's currently 7.30 and we're here and look at this line. I mean, you got to get here early if you want to go because the cops are here handing out. We've just been waiting in this line for like maybe 30, 40 minutes in order to enter. Um, but once you have a ticket, you're good. Um, just make sure that you're here early enough to get enter and wait in this line. If you don't have a tube, you can rent a tube here. Um, and I'll tell you guys all about that when we enter here. So literally right before you enter, you'll see this tube place right here. And you literally just stack them right on top of your car. And you'll just tie it and we'll enter from there. What y'all gotta be sure is you actually start all the way at the start. So you, when you enter, you're gonna walk all the way to the right and you see a couple of bridges and that's when you know when the start is and the lazy river will push you all the way back to the end. So let's head there. So right here is supposed to be the entrance, but it's beautiful. This Sunday, there's a baptism that's going on. So let's celebrate. And this is what you call beauty on a Sunday. Got the whole family in. Now I gotta hop in and let's go down this lazy river. And we just flowing down the river. And I'm not gonna lie, the current is really pulling you, and it's really fun though. It's beautiful, clear water, nice rocks, and just a nice relaxing time with family here. So honestly, the good thing about it is the water is really shallow. Like you just stay in the whole time. I'm about 6'1", and it's about weight or like nowhere higher than nipple length. So, um, so a lot of times it's shallow to the point where my butt in the tube hits it. So um, definitely a place where you do not need a tube. You can literally just walk through if you wanted. There goes the little snake. Oh, it's a small one. No swimming beyond this point. 
All right, and we're all the way at the end. Obviously, they're stuck, and they asked me to come save them, but I ain't gonna save them. <laughs> that was an amazing experience. All in all, it took us about 30 minutes, and it was a lot of fun. What do you think about it? It was very nice and relaxing and cold. <laughs> <laughs> we did see one snake. A little scary. Yeah, a little scary, they say, because he saw one snake. It was a little snake, though. Well, not little. It was long. It was a long snake. No alligators. Yeah, but there were turtles swimming around as well. And we did see some little fish, but no alligators. So that's a good sign. What I would say, though, is it's a really affordable family activity to do. If you have your own tubes, you can get in for five dollars per car, which is like a dollar a person if you have five people. So let's head to the next destination. Thank you, guys. Just pulled up to Lake Eola Park and over here it's supposed to be super dope because they're supposed to have these swan boats. It was raining earlier, so I don't know if they're still open right now, but I hear there are a ton of swans here. And look at this beautiful amphitheater right here. <laughs> Ta-da! This is the Walt Disney Amphitheater, but ain't no shows going on. <laughs> Lev, you wanna go up there and let's perform? Nothing you should. <laughs> All right, let's go. Look at these turtles just posing for us right here. <laughs> and there's so many of them and different types. Look at this one, got a black neck. And over there, if y'all can see, there's some straight black ones, like all black. And right behind us, those are the swan boats. Doesn't look like they're open. Would be cool though. So if there's rain in the forecast, get here before it rains. This is such a beautiful park here at Lake Eola, but if it rains, they shut down the swan boat, so. Very disappointed. It opens at 10 o'clock. Yes, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. I think. Yep, and it's $15 per boat, and it's five people that can stand, that can sit in the boat. <laughs> yes, and pedal. <laughs> So right on the Hilton property that we're staying at, we have dinner at David's Burgers and Bourbon. So let's try out this food. Included in my Hilton credit card is $250 in resort credit. So we're gonna use it on dinner tonight and tomorrow. So let's see what it takes us. Mushrooms. And our food just came out. I got a double cheeseburger with jalapeno and beef brisket. Liv and her mother got this. Veggie pasta. Veggie pasta and Tristan got the fish and picks. So we're out here with the family and we're in Orlando and we drove two and a quarter hours in order to get here and this is in Rainbow Springs. Now this is a natural park and it has these clear waters in these springs. We are going to do uh, kayaking with the clear bottom with this company called Get Up and Go Kayaking. Now I saw this experience on Instagram and I knew I had to reach out to them because they do these really cool tours where you can see the water right under you and they also contribute a lot of their money into wildlife and preserving the environment so stay tuned and I'll tell you guys if it's worth it to come all the way to Rainbow Springs on your trip to Orlando so here it's seven dollars a person for entrance fee um, and that's just to get into the park bright greenness that there is the eelgrass. Now unfortunately our eelgrass is not doing that great. Between people using pesticides when they live here on the river, yeah. um, not pesticides, herbicides, and unfortunately people not adhering to the no-wake zone, um, our eelgrass ain't doing that great. Which is very, very bad because without that eelgrass we don't have wildlife. It produces more oxygen than the whole rainforest combined does. Wow. So even though we have a little bit, it does oxygenate the water quite a lot. And without it, we just won't have any wildlife. No oxygen, no wildlife. So. All right, so we entered, we're here with the family, and these kayaks are so cool because look how clear the bottom is. Like, you can literally see everything that's here. So, let's get this started. <laughs> so we all have partners. Even Austin, look at hers. <laughs> it's a dead body, but you know, somebody there. <laughs> So we're 
at the point now where we had to get out of the boat and we got to walk through this little creek area. Now, the important thing about the kayaks is you need to have teamwork. Your, and your team needs to listen to each other because if one person goes and the other person does not, you will not go straight. And you'll be in last place like Tristan and I were. <laughs> but <laughs> if, you, yeah, if you guys work together, That's then you can I get through. That's because I was by myself rolling. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we're going to walk through. They say it gets about nipple height, so we'll see what it's really like out here. All right, so right over here they have sand boils, which is where all of this fresh water comes from. And down under you can find things like fossils and other really cool shark teeth and gator teeth and things. So let's see what we can find. What'd you get? So this here is a fossilized bone. Yeah. Fossilized bone. Okay, Tristan, Tristan, grab that. Grab the fossilized bone. That's a bone. That's a fossil. Austin left us, so we're just gonna explore the creek by ourselves. And it's definitely sand bottom. We don't have our shoes on, and it is beautiful. There's a lot of sea life here. We see a lot of fish, but no other animals. Hopefully, we do see some marine life because I haven't seen an otter before. <laughs> holds up and it's nice so we can go into the pool today. All right, and we just made it back to the room and we're about to go to the lazy river in the pool and it's an amazing view. I mean, we're at the 16th floor, but just look at this view. Overlooking. Wow. So you see you got a long lazy river, it got two pools, it got a kid area over there. Um, it got a restaurant fitness center basketball course over here this place has a ton of amenities oh it's another tennis court back there too all right from one lazy river to the next he's getting right in <laughs> Got, Liv got the crab burger and fries. I'm not too hungry, so I got the poutine yucca fries. Mama Mia got the broccolini, mashed potatoes, and shrimp. Salmon. Oh, salmon, sorry. And Tristan got the chicken and waffles. And we also got the monkey bread with the drizzle and ice cream. Oh, hey. All right, so we just pulled up to Old Town, which is a really nice family friendly area. There's a lot of restaurants, there's amusement rides, and there's just a lot of fun things to do. So, what are we about to get into? 
hopefully do some activities. They have a Ferris wheel here. They have a slingshot. It's 10 o'clock and it closes <laughs> around 11 o'clock. So I don't know what we're gonna get yeah. to, but just come along with us, y'all. Yeah. Old Town is really cool. There's a ton of different shops here. Um, a lot of tourists, even though this is a Sunday night at 10 o'clock. So definitely a good place to come and check out by yourself. And check this out. It looks like it's a haunted house. live performance and people outside and they active tonight. Over here they got a hangman challenge. Let's see how long he can stay here. Alright so we're here at the fun spot in Old Town follow me. This is so dope. They got a roller coaster over there, um, carnival style. Look right here. They have go karts that you can ride. Hey, wifey. This is dope, man. I highly, highly recommend this. They got a slingshot that's right there. It ain't gonna look. Now, this is crazy. Look at that. Woo! That ain't for me though. They also got this ride, look at that. They just spinning around in circles and back and forth. Yeah, that joint crazy. It's going faster and faster. Oh, but look at this, Extreme Ninja Challenge. I might want to do this, where adults can play and be a kid again. All right, let's check it out. All right, so we're here in the Extreme Ninja course, and this is super dope. Look at all the challenges that they have here. And we got unlimited activities for 20 minutes for around $15 a person, which is super fun. Hopefully none of us break our necks. We signed a waiver form, so we're not liable. Any so we're li liable anyway, so we'll see what we're gonna get into it. All right, here's Tristan on the first one. Now climb across all the way to the end. You making it. Oh. All the way, all the way. Beast mode. Are you serious about this? <laughs> Keep it going. You got it. Woo! I don't know. All right, so we're here at this Extreme Ninja, and my brother and Darren are really doing all the things. I'm trying, but struggle for me. <laughs> Just look at this ride. Who in their right mind is doing this? Let me answer that, not me. <laughs> Just getting home from Old Town and listen, that is a must visit if you're in Orlando. There's so many things to do, so much fun. You can literally spend the whole day and just get an adventure pass. They have different passes for different prices if you guys are trying to do it, but definitely something that I recommend you guys doing. And that's it for our four-day trip to Orlando. We had such a fun time with family, and we were able to do it affordably. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.